Hello, Alkalites, and welcome back to After Plague. I've been gone for so long. There was a lot going on. I finished my degree. I officially have a master's degree, but I was really busy with finals and then prepping for graduation and all that good stuff. I've also been gone for Christmas, uh, <laughs> but I'm back now. And I'm working on new projects that are coming soon. Unfortunately, my computer got wiped at the end of the semester. So a lot of the projects that I had working on, I don't have the files for them anymore. I thought they were uploaded somewhere, but they're not. Instead, I'm going back to a couple years ago. I don't remember when I drew this. It's been at least a few months. And I am showing you this painting I did of these hands in handcuffs. Now, this is probably going to be suppressed by YouTube. I don't know what's considered not safe for work anymore, but eh, this is a little not safe for work. I don't know. <laughs> it might be suppressed. I guess we'll find out. This drawing, this painting rather, was me finally experimenting and trying to do realism. It's not my favorite thing to do, but this uh, painting was literally so fun. I had such a great time with it and I think it turned out really fantastically. For a while it's gonna look really ugly so I'm gonna need you. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to trust the process and just go along with the painting of these hands. I did my best to draw as a sketch the position of the hands. I do think it's not quite correct. I think my hands are a little bit more tilted forward. It's close enough that you can look at both and be like, ah, yes, I understand what you're going for. And then I really had to focus and learn and experiment with the undertones of the skin. It's not something I'm very used to. And at the beginning of this painting, I started out with some more unrealistic colors because I thought, well, I might try to paint them realistically, but if I use unrealistic colors, I can maybe get away with some inaccuracies. And then I didn't think it looked good at all. So now I'm using the most accurate colors I can possibly think of that I can find in this illustration that I can see to try and define the sketch. I started with the hand on the left, obviously, um, and I, I started by defining all of the fingers. I was surprised by how little, quote unquote, it took to make them look realistic. This painting did take me a long time. It took me nine hours, I think. I, I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it was like nine and a half, ten hours. You can see at this point in the video that the hand is actually really starting to come together. It's starting to look quite realistic. Something that was a little bit challenging for me was definitely the wrist. I was finding all of these like wrinkles and details that I could put into the hand to make it look like this realistic image but the wrist was more of a flat, open, expansive space. So I didn't have as much of an opportunity to hide my mistakes, lack of knowledge with these sort of hidden strokes. So I'm not a hundred, I think they, the wrists end up looking like the final image. I'm just, uh, I don't know, compared to the hands, they feel a little bit odd to me. I'm not sure how to fix that. If anybody knows what a solution might be, I tried all these like texture brushes and they didn't quite feel right. So if anybody has any tips, I'd love to hear them. I've since learned from digitally painting that you are really not supposed to do this where you sort of render out one piece of the artwork completely and then start rendering another piece because it can make them appear unbalanced. It ended up working out okay for this piece, but I honestly should have been rendering both hands at the same time. And I've, I've learned that now. So again, I'm just going in and defining the shapes of these fingers. I thought it was really important to make sure that there were obvious planes of the fingers. Like there's the frontmost knuckle, which is a singular plane, and then there's the second knuckle, which is also a separate plane and therefore would have separate shading and sort of a distinct line separating the two. What I thought was really fun was the nails. I thought it was so fun working on them. I loved adding the little shine at the end and the, the, the shine on the nail bed and how the nail bed is sort of a little bit more red. I, I love it so much. I thought that was so fun. Also, this, this piece for me is a little bit of like a bragging piece. So when people are like, oh, can you draw? I'm like, oh yeah, and I show them this. Uh, it's a little embarrassing because it's kind of not safe for work, but also it's like, hey, look, I can draw hands as an artist, <laughs> which is definitely a flex. So I'm flexing a little bit. <laughs> The palm for this hand was a lot more difficult to draw. The wrinkles didn't feel quite as, they didn't come quite as easily, especially on the thumb. You can see there's sort of like this weird wrinkle on the hand, but it was there in the initial illustration. I ended up blending it away a little bit just because I felt like it didn't really suit 
at least the way that I posed the hand. It might have been something to do with my initial sketch. The fur on the handcuffs was kind of difficult. I actually had to go and download some specific fur handcuffs. <laughs> handcuffs, specific fur brushes for Procreate. Uh, I started with a dark color and painted the light on top of it because that's how you paint traditionally, dark to light. Originally I had it at that mid-tone, but I realized it was going to be too hard to paint on top of it. And then I basically just added a whole bunch of variation in the splotches. So it looked like different tufts of fur on top of each other, and then took a different blending brush, a blending fur brush, and scraped it over top with a highlight of the hair. So like the lightest hair was on top of the brush to blend it. Uh, I added in the shading under the handcuffs and also obviously the handcuffs are metal. So I had to go in and paint this sort of metal chrome texture. I'm not 100% on board with that, but at this point in the illustration, I was kind of done. So I added a shadow behind everything and there it is. Uh, so thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked it, leave me a like. And if you want to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like it, please do follow me on all my other social medias. I'm after plague on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch, and I'm after underscore plague on Twitter. Thank you again so much for watching, and I hope you survive this post-plague world.